Good morning, good morning. Good to see you back here for Sunshine Story Time. See my, this is what I'm calling my hat today. Yep, yep. Those are cupcakes. And um, we'll talk about them in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with our theme song. Ready? Sing it loud with me. Story time, story time. Are you ready for story time? Let's take an adventure, let's take a trip. Let's grab a book and zip it easy. Let's take an adventure, let's take a trip. During our story time. Yes, 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 that's what we are going to do today. We're actually gonna take two adventures today, two of them. All right, but first, Let's say our Lord's Prayer, okay? Bow your heads and close your eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. All right. Now, I hate to admit this, but I forgot my flag. Oh, but we can still say the Pledge of Allegiance anyways, okay? So I want you to stand, stand up straight, stand up nice and tall, right hand over your heart, and let's say the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all very very good very good all right so we have a little bit going on today um i wore my silly cupcake um my silly cupcake hat headband whatever um just to make you laugh because that's gonna kind of be our theme today is just, it's okay to laugh, kids. It's okay to laugh. And it's okay to have that joy in your heart. We're gonna sing a song about that too in just a little bit. But I have two books um, today, and, and they're not really long books, so that's why I've decided two books today. And we're gonna start with, this one is called The Secret Science Project That Almost Ate the School. Woo! It's by Judy Sierra, and the pictures are by Stephen Gamble. So this is the secret science project that almost ate the school. Who likes science projects? Me, I do, I do, I do. They can be fun, but you have to be careful because they can be messy and dangerous too. So let's go ahead and see. Let's go on adventure to an, um, a school. We're going to a school today and see what happens with the science project that almost ate the school. Okay, here we go. I was grumpy. I was grouchy. I was slouching in my chair. I was thinking grim and gloomy thoughts about the science fair. Oh, she does not look too happy, does she? Mm, not too happy at all. Miranda bragged her rocket ship could travel to the moon. Alexander taught his hamster how to sing a tune. The ants on Mary's ant farm were growing corns and peas, and Kevin Fink was on the brink of curing a disease. Oh my goodness, these sounds like these sound like really cool projects and experiments. Nice. Miss Fidget looked at me in the eye. I wish that I could hide. What will your project be? She asked. It's secret, I replied. Oh, goodness. Look at that teacher. Oh, she's a little bit scary, I must say. A little bit, a little bit scary. The secret was I didn't really have a project yet. I needed an experiment that no one would forget. So I stayed up late and found a great one on the internet. All right, and this one says, a science project fully guaranteed to win first prize, a substance so amazing judges won't believe their eyes, 
a mutant yeast with just a piece of dragon DNA, Professor Swami's Super Slum. Order yours today. All right, this is the ad she saw on the internet. Oh my goodness. And boys and girls, we must be careful what we see on the internet, what we, what we think is real because some things aren't. It's true. Adults need to learn that too. I sent the money instantly. Then early Friday morning, a box appeared. It looked so weird with big green letters. Warning. Your super slime is sensitive, so handle it with care. Keep it safe inside this box until the science fair. Then feed it sugar till it swells a thousand times in mass. Stand back as it erupts into a harmless cloud of gas. Hmm, not suspicious at all. I popped the lid and gave the slime a teeny tiny poke. It started getting bigger. It growled and blew off smoke. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. It catapulted from the box and splattered on the floor, precisely as Sir Scratch-a-Lot stepped through the kitty door and plopped his paws in mutant muck. He rudely hissed and spat. Yikes, the secret science project ate my kitty cat. <laughs> Let's see, where's the kitty cat? Right there. Oh, my goodness. Seems like she's in trouble. Is that your science project? Asked my sister, Kate. Stop, I said. You'll hurt its feelings. Oops, it was too late. The slime began to spin around. It rose into the air, and when it roared and hit the floor, my sister wasn't there. Uh-oh. Their sister's gone. <laughs> Just then I heard my father's voice. What's going on in there? Something in that bedroom smells like moldy underwear. My science project's sensitive, I warned. Don't make it mad. There wasn't time to stop the crime. The slime ingested dad. Oh, no. Oh, it's got dad. Look, there's his shoes and his legs. That's not good. <laughs> the science project looked at me. I thought I saw it drool. I tried to run away, but yikes, it followed me to school. Miss Fidget shouted, Ew, what is that big, disgusting creature? The slime stopped short and gave a snort and ate my third grade teacher. Ah, the slime, the slime. There's Miss Fidget. Oh. <laughs> It grew larger by the minute as it swallowed Alexander and incorporated Kevin Fink and Mary and Miranda. As the slime was busy slurping up the last of Mary's aunts, I remembered the instructions in the pocket of my pants. Oh my goodness, the slime. The slime is getting everybody. What is she going to do? Sugar, I commanded. Feed that hungry slime some sweets kids reached in their backpacks. Soon the air was filled with treats as donuts flew and cookies too and candy bars and gum. The bloated blob was quick to gobble every single crumb. Oh goodness, sugar is working. So sugar is a good thing. Yeah, sugar's a good thing. <laughs> Don't tell your parents I said that. Wink, wink. I shook a can of soda pop and sprayed the growing slime till I could tell that it had swelled at least a thousand times. Now everybody hide, I screamed. Ka-ka-flam, flaz! It vanished in a stupefying burst of CO2. ka -flu. Oh, it burst. Yucky, yucky. When the dust had cleared away, my dad was up a tree. My teacher dangled from the roof. We all were on TV. Sir Scratch-a-Lot, I called and called. What happened to my cat? He's on your head, my sister said, pretending he's a hat. Uh-oh, is that Miss Is that Miss Fidget hanging from the roof? There's Dad. You can see his legs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and there is Sir Scratch-a-Lot. My project didn't win first prize, and that was fair, I guess. Miss Fidget kept me after school to clean up all the mess. And underneath the cookie bits and sugary debris, 
I saw a goopy glob of slime and yikes, it winked at me. Cleaning up and, ooh, look at that. You see the slime winking. <laughs> the end. Wasn't that a fun book? That was so, so, so much fun. I love it. It makes me laugh. And that's what we're after today. Joy and laughter and just having, just having fun. So with that in mind, we're going to sing a song. I don't know if you know it, but this is one I learned when I was real small. And it goes like this. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. That's right, I've got the joy of the Lord down in my heart so I can smile, I can have a good time, and I can smile at others and I can just, I can be kind, right? We can do that because we have the joy of the Lord in our heart. All right, so one more book and this one is called The Upside Down Frown and Splashes of Joy. This one is by Barbara Johnson. The pictures, the illustrations are by Victoria Panikvar Fraser, Victoria Fraser. Okay, it's a beautiful name. I butchered it, but it's a beautiful name. All right, so let's see what happens about the upside down frown. What is the upside down frown? It's a smile, right? Frown goes this way, smile goes this way. That's right, and splashes of joy. So let's take a read at this one. Knock, knock, wiggle, wiggle, ding, dong, head scratch. Joy giggled at the funny way she had to knock on the geranium lady's pink door. That's the secret code, the geranium lady laughed. Come in, come in. You have paint all over you, Joy said. Yes, the geranium lady agreed. I was painting my house happier colors when I accidentally spilled a bag of marbles into the paint cans and splashed myself with a rainbow of colors. Rainbow of colors. That's a fun thing. I like that secret code door knock. The geranium lady's newly painted home was filled with bright flowers, loud polka music, the yummy smell of warm cookies, and a dog, Wumpy, who welcomed Joy with big slurpy kisses. I'm glad you're here, the geranium lady said. I have a special project and could sure use your help. I'm giving kisses. <laughs> Oh, wonder what she needs help with. Let's see. This neighborhood is filled with sad faces, unhappy homes, even gloomy gardens, said the geranium lady. Let's brighten up these people's day with some surprise visits. Then with a laugh and a smile, she added, we'll make this day so joyfully fun, it will turn their frowns upside down into smiles. Joy thought that sounded like a great idea. Oh, look can't have that look at how sad look at the mailman look how sad all right they've got some work to do don't they can we start with michael he's been sick for days joy said the geranium lady already had a plan let's surprise him with something round and gooey that's tasty and chewy when michael opened the door he couldn't believe what he was staring at there's michael Oh, wonder what's in that great big box. A super gigantic chocolate chip cookie so big that the geranium lady had to hold one side while Joy held the other. As they snapped on a piece of the huge cookie, Joy and the geranium lady shared with Michael how much God loves him. Look, I'm gonna pull this back so you can see. Oh goodness, look at that chocolate chip cookie. But the best part was that they could share how much Jesus loves Michael. Next, they went to see a girl named Mary. She always seemed sad, like she had forgotten how to smile. As they knocked on her door, the geranium lady was holding several geranium plants. 
When Mary opened the door, the geranium lady threw the flowers up in the air. Oh my goodness, look at her throwing them up in the air. What's she doing that for? And started juggling. Do you know what juggling is? Yeah, Miss Lynn can't do that. It's when you have so many things going up at once, but they come down into your hands and you toss them up and it's just like back and forth, back and forth. I can't do it, but, they're, but she's doing it, geraniums. Started juggling geranium so fast that her hands and the plants became a blur. That is mighty fast, y'all. Mary was tickled by this silly sight that she began to smile. The geranium lady said, that's why God tells us to be of good cheer. Because he's bigger than all the sad things in life. Look at that. Look at her juggling. Look, Mary is finally smiling. And we do have to remember... That even though we might have sad moments, God is so much bigger. His happiness is so much bigger. His joy is so much bigger than anything sad that comes to our life. Then they walk to Mr. Higgins' home. He's the grumpiest man I've ever met, whispered Joy. The geranium lady encouraged Joy to find a way to make this grouchy soul smile. So when the frown-faced man with bushy eyebrows threw open his door. Look at that. All right, let's see. Bushy eyebrows right up there. Yep, I'd say they were bushy eyebrows. Ooh, what's he getting ready to see? Joy plopped the geranium lady's funny hat right on his balding head. He began to laugh and laugh. The geranium lady said, see how fast God can turn a frown upside down? That's why I tell people who are sad to stick a geranium in their hat and be happy. Look at that. <laughs> he looks mighty happy now, doesn't he? It's good to laugh. This has been so much fun, Joy said as they walked down the sidewalk. But I wish we had something to leave with people to remind them of God's love. With a twinkle in her eye, the geranium lady said, I've got it. I just thought of what we can give people. Let's hurry back to my house. Oh, goodness, they're hurrying back. Going, 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 going. Dropping, dropping flowers. Look at that. They're dropping flowers on the sidewalk as they go. Look at that on the other side, too. Nice. Joy waited curiously in the kitchen as the geranium lady disappeared, only to return a moment later with a bucket. Joy's eyes widened as the geranium lady dumped out some of the marbles that had accidentally fallen in the paint cans that morning. The round, shiny objects were now a paint-splattered mixture of glittering colors. These are little splashes of joy, the geranium lady said. We can give these to people to remind them of the many ways God sprinkles their day with joy. Look at that. What a great thing to do. Look at all those colored marbles. Very, very pretty. I love color. And that's how Joy and the geranium lady started turning frowns upside down by sharing with others how God brightens our lives with his splashes of joy. Philippians 3, chapter 3, verse 1 says, Be full of joy in the Lord. Look at that. Look, that looks like a whole different neighborhood, doesn't it? And why does it look different? Because the geranium lady and Joy, they went out and they spread the love of Jesus. They smiled, they shared, they were kind, and it turned everyone's frown upside down. It filled their environment, it filled their neighborhood with happiness and with joy and, um, and with the love of Jesus. Now, in the, back of, in the back of this book, it shows how you can take um, paper, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mention this in case there are, you know, parents watching. Maybe maybe you want to do this, and maybe parents can help you um, share a little bit of joy. But you can take, you can you can participate in splashes of joy. You can take, um, let's see, paper. You can take cereal boxes. You can cut out different shapes. You can paint them. You can add um, glitter or sparklies or anything like that. Make little cute little things and pass them out, give them to people and just to remind them of God's joy, of his love, and just to bring a smile 
on their face. Remember that when you do this, write the word joy on the back as a reminder to the person that you give it to. And, um, or you can find any other way to be kind, to share a smile, to share the love of Jesus, and let others um, experience that excitement and that joy too. Can we sing it one more time? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. All right. Now, we've been on two adventures today, and those were pretty fun. We saw one at a school um, where a science project went all wrong, but it was so funny what happened. And then we um, saw, we went on another adventure in a neighborhood to um, see how the geranium lady and um, her friend, Joy, turned the neighborhood upside down with smiles and, and now it's full of joy. So I had fun doing that with you today. I want to mention a couple of things before we sign off. Um, in two weeks, two weeks from today, I will be introducing to you a brand new friend that will join me on our um, Sunshine Storytime episodes. Um, her name is Camille. And um, so I'll go ahead, I'll tell you that much, but I'm not gonna tell you anything else except that I am excited. So please, please, please join me two weeks from today and I will be introducing a brand new friend um, for story time. And also, I want to go ahead and make this announcement. Um, for the month of July, I am going to be doing, it's not really a competition, it's not a contest, but um, I am going to encourage book reading. So, um, and I'll give you more details, but just a, a, an overview is that um, I want you to, I'll have something set up where you can log the books that you read, and for so many books, you'll get um, Sunshine Storytime certificate or, or some other things to, um, to reward you for the books that you read during the whole month of July. And this is just to encourage you just to keep reading, keep reading, because books really, really take you on an adventure. And um, this would not just be for kids. I've been enjoying books lately. I've gone back to my book reading days and I love it. And so I'll, I'll do it even for the adults that want to participate, okay? But that will be for the month of July. And I will bring you some uh, more details later on before, um, before July starts so that you can prepare yourself for that month, okay? I'm excited though, I'm excited. Um, don't forget that if you have missed any of our episodes, you can catch us on YouTube. When you go to YouTube in the search bar, just type in Sunshine Storytime Lynn Bacon. Lynn is L-Y-N, just one N, Bacon, B-A-C-O-N, and that will take you to our channel, and you can catch up on some of our older um, episodes. Um, subscribe. That would be great. And um, if you have suggestions for books, I know I received a couple of suggestions last week and i'm so thankful for those and i am reading through one of them now just to you know make sure that it's a-okay -okay to present um the person suggested that i do that and I, i'm thankful for that um but if there are any others y'all pour them in pour them in um you can um, post them to any of these videos or to the YouTube videos, or you can send an email to mrslyn.sunshinestorytime at gmail.com. That's our email address, and I will get it um, and see what we can do with those suggestions. Y'all send them in. I want, to, I want to know what you would like to hear. All right, thank you so very much for tuning in, and I will see you again. Um, I will see, not this Friday, but I will see you again. I will let you know when. I'm having to be flexible a little bit these, these next couple of days with my schedule. So watch for the announcement of when I'll be back on. Um, and I will see you soon. Ready? Story time, story time. We're all done with story time. We took an adventure, we took a trip. We grabbed a book, we zippity zipped. We took an adventure, we took a trip. During our story time. And I had a blast with you. Bye friends. <laughs>